Can you imagine walking around all the with your hair smelling like vanilla ice cream? Amazing. Hey guys, welcome back. So I am on a roll, so I figured why not just film another video since um, I am so bad with filming videos and I'm so sorry because I have like months between my videos. But the reason is that I like to be in a state where I feel like I actually have something to contribute rather than just posting random videos about randomness. So today's video is going to be about my favorite hair conditioners for my natural hair. I know like a lot of people are concerned, especially at the beginning of the journey, as to what products to use and um, you know just getting things right. Well, there is no right and there is no wrong in the sense that the most important thing should be learning what your hair appreciates, what your hair likes, what it doesn't like. I will try to be as in-depth as possible, but if you do have any further questions about the products that I mentioned or any other products, um, just let me know by posting a comment down below and I will get to them as soon as possible. So guys, my first product that I'm going to be showing you is my Cream of Nature Professional um, Intensive Conditioning Treatment. Uh, it's the one with argan oil and it's the 20 fluid ounce bottle this is one that i bought i actually bought this like a year ago and i still have it the first thing i have to mention is the smell and i'm gonna open yes i'm gonna open it and smell it just because i like it and i want you guys to see my honest opinion of it okay so it smells really good it's hard to describe really, but it's like a very mild, kind of sweet scent. Definitely my favorite conditioner. It leaves my hair super soft. Um, I find that some conditioners are kind of sudsy, as in even though they're conditioners, they do lather up a bit, which for me is kind of like, whoa, you're a conditioner, like why are you lathering? Isn't the shampoo supposed to do the lathering? So yeah, so it doesn't do that. It stays on my hair really well without weighing it down. It's not a thick conditioner at all. So if you guys are looking for a thick conditioner, um, especially to do deep conditioning, this is probably not the best one for you, but um, I have used it to deep condition and it has worked pretty well. I also use it as a leave-in, so I would mix it with water and my favorite oil, like olive oil, and just use it as a leave-in. So there are conditioners that are meant for moisturizing, um, like helping your hair to retain that moisture, and there are conditioners that are meant for deep conditioning. Right? Um, some moisturizing conditioners aren't very good deep conditioners. So um, I will put um, information down below to ingredients to look out for in terms of what's good for moisturizing, what's good for deep conditioning. Um, I will also put a link to the blog where I found that information because I find now that when I'm looking for conditioners, I always look at the ingredients at the back. And I think that any product that you're using in your hair, you definitely need to look at the ingredients because the ingredients are super important and they can make a difference. My second favorite conditioner, and I've recently started using this conditioner, is by Aussie. And it is, a lot, I know a lot of you use the Aussie Miraculously Moist Conditioner, right? That is definitely a favorite among naturals. Um, I use the Aussie miraculously smooth um, and it is really supposed to prevent um, frizz. Frizz is a big problem especially because I live in the Caribbean and it's always hot and humid and it just contributes to frizz like major frizz. See this puff like if I go outside it will be frizzy in like seconds and so um, this is the reason why I decided to try this out. Let me just show you the consistency. <laughs> Compared 
compare that with the cream of nature one that I just showed you. It doesn't move around, it's extremely thick. And I think that's one of the reasons why it will be really good as a deep conditioner. Um, in terms of deep conditioning, I have used it to deep condition. I've also used it um, when I'm doing my wash and goes. So I would wash my hair with this, I would rinse it out like 70 to 80 percent, and then use my curl sealer, my Tilia Wishy curl sealer, and that works amazing. I'll put in some pictures so you guys can see my wash and go results when I was using the Aussie Miraculously Smooth one. Smell wise, all these conditioners smell good and that's the reason why I probably like them because I'm really big on smell, but it smells really nice as well. Um, it's less musky than the Cream of Nature one, it's more sweet and um, kind of florally in a way, if that makes sense. Okay guys, so final conditioner of choice, my favorite conditioner is the list would be this one. This is a gallon of conditioner, you guys, like literally a gallon of conditioner. It is by a brand called Nature's Advantage and it is the honey and almond conditioner and it's concentrated. Let me just, oh you guys, this is super heavy. Do not try this at home. <laughs> This one definitely, I definitely looked at the ingredients before buying this to make sure that it could be used as a deep conditioner as well as a really moisturizing leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. It actually does smell like honey and almond. It smells amazing. It, it, do you know what it smells like? It smells like vanilla ice cream. Can you imagine walking around all day with your hair smelling like vanilla ice cream? Amazing. For me, it's like a mixture between the Cream of Nature one and the Aussie one because it is kind of watery but at the same time it's thick enough to stay in my hand. So yeah, that those are my conditioners of choice. This one I've been using for a couple of weeks now and I absolutely love it. Um, I will try to put links below to where you can find these conditioners, especially the Nature's Advantage because I found that I found it at my local beauty supply, but um, it's kind of difficult to find online. Again, um, in terms of choosing a conditioner, look at the ingredients, um, try to do a smell test in the store before if you can because some of them don't smell as good as others and if you're sensitive to smells like me, um, definitely try to do a smell test so you can you know when you're not going to be stuck with a conditioner that's that smell kind of funky. But yeah. Um, Look at the ingredients, make sure that water is definitely the first ingredient listed because that means that it's going to be moisturizing and moisture is your friend. Okay you guys, so I hope that is it. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, put them in the comments down below and I will see you in another video. Bye guys.